and I'm from Colombia. Uh, I have been working on the Little Soap Ship for a year and a half already. Completely voluntary, ever from the captain uh, to all of us who do other type of work. Um, we're not paid, we are supported by family and friends back home. Okay, okay cool. To do this. And I heard like there are like 400 crew members yes. like from 60 different countries and yes, so on. exactly. So it's a pretty international and diverse community. This is a little bit of the pre-ship training. Of course, we live on a ship, so we have to be prepared for any type of emergency. Mm -hmm. um, we have a doctor and a dentist, one for the 400 crew members, just in case we get sick. Mm -hmm. um, this is the book hold where we store all the books that need to be put out in the library. So we store lots and lots of books there. We have electricians, plumbers, um, all these people are volunteers here to make, sh make sure the, the ship works well and that we can be able to be open to the public, um, just taking care of lights and so many little details that need to be taken care of. Um, hotel and catering is one of our departments. Uh, we lovingly call the girls the angels because they clean the entire ship, they do laundry. Um, it's really hard work, but they do it with a loving heart. If we serve our, like ourselves, we get our plates and our cutlery here, and we just sit. So do you guys try local cuisine at every point? Um, stop we at? try to when we go outside. <laughs> oh. um, so we have like we find local friends, and then they they tell us what's good. That's oh. how we try. Okay. okay cool. yeah. <laughs> we try to have international food as well served here on board. Okay. Yeah. Since you have to. Make happy lots of people from different places. Mm -hmm. so the locals try. has been coming here a while now. Do you guys have Guyanese on the ship? Guyanese? No. Not right now. Oh. It would be great if we had one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we, uh, we encourage lots of people to um, apply to the ship. There was a volunteer program here on board. Mm -hmm. okay. So they've been working with us these weeks. Oh. And I hope they, they feel encouraged and excited to, to stay. Yeah. This is our like kind of like a family picture. We take it every year at the end of the year. Okay. We all take our flags and we go out on the bow for oh, our, that. Yes, for end of the year picture. <laughs> so here are the four hundred volunteers from sixty different nations. Wow. Here's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tagline, it's bringing knowledge, help, and hope. That's like our goal. Uh -huh. So we bring hope through, uh, when you go down to the book fair, you will see a display called The Journey of Life mm -hmm. that tells the story of a prodigal son and the loving heart of a father who is forgiving and just willing to give second chances. Um, so people on the ship find a parallel with this story. We feel like um, we may be the son that left home and has come back and mm -hmm. has come to the father's arm, or uh, the other son who has done things right um, and is expecting many things, but still he, he can be there with the father as well. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to share that story. We visit prisons. We not only have the book fair, we not only have events on board. Um, we partner with local organizations on shore just to provide hope. And, well, not provide, but share hope. Um, so this was at a prison. We were having a, a free... A, feeding program in that was Madagascar. This was in Philippines. Um, we had a program for uh, ex-bar girls. So they came here and we were able to wash their feet and talk to them. It's, it's a really cool interaction. Great. Uh, and this is, we have lots of children's programs we visit. Here in Guyana we have visited orphanages, um, schools. So yeah, uh, 
right there, this is in Malaysia. They were painting children's faces and just uh, spending time. That's nice. We bring help. Uh, here we're building a library, or just refurbishing a library in Madagascar as well. This was a visit to a prison. We have eyeglasses, that help, like reading glasses. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, water purifiers um, for different communities, and we have stationary packs and other types of donations for different communities. So here we worked um, building a home in one of the communities. We also had other people going to different villages taking these uh, water purifiers. So we have been doing this in Guyana as well. Okay. And knowledge. We want to share knowledge of the cultures that we have on board. Yeah. Here in Taiwan we were doing a poverty simulation so we want people to be aware of the needs of this world. Um, in Madagascar we had a program teaching deaf students how to sew. Um, so we have just a, a wide variety of programs. And of course the book fair. So we have more than 5,000 titles of books down in the book fair. And we sometimes have donations to different schools where okay. you can come and visit. And we want to have a, like good prices for you. Okay, great. Yeah. This is our... Oh. Um, this is a picture of the Faroe Islands where the ship initially started sailing. So before the ship was Lobos Hope, it carried cars and passengers um, in, the, in Northern Europe, in the Faroe Islands, Denmark. So this is a picture of where the ship comes from. And then this is where we ate. We have a pantry team who washes dishes and cups and mugs all day long. We have a galley team who prepares the lunch, the generous food. And we have a bakery, so they make desserts for us or bread every morning. Or people of every profession do this sort of this year. And this is our little lounge where we have events. We have cultural cafes where we can share about our culture. We have creative nations. So every time we come to a country, we have an official opening and people representing different nationalities come and welcome officials, um, just guests to the ship. We have an audiovisual department. They're in charge of, in charge of lights, of sound. So yeah, this is one of the venues. We have another venue that's called the Hope Theater. Mm -hmm. where we have theater plays, uh, cultural programs. So you guys keep each other entertained like when you're on a long sail? When we're on a long <laughs> sail, we have community events. So let's say for New Year's, we had a talent show. International Cafe. 